Hi, my name is Susan Abbas. I experienced cardiac arrest in 2017. What do you remember about that night? Uh, sitting at home with my family in our living room. Um, that's all I remember. I went from supper to going to the living room to sit down and watch TV with the kids. And next thing you know, Susan went to bend over to pick up the dog and you heard a, a loud ow and then all her limbs went flaring out and you could tell something was very wrong. At that point, we started CPR on her. Um, I told the kids to call 911. 911, what is your emergency? A young girl um, screaming, I need help. Um, my mom's down, she's dying, and it was just very um, hysterical. Um, I was trying very hard to get the address from this young lady. I told the girls, the youngest one grabbed the dogs. Um, the son helped me put Susan on the floor. The 911 operator helped me get started on CPR. I said, I need you to roll her on her back. I need you to check for a pulse. She did not have a pulse, she was not breathing, so then I initiated CPR with him. I told him to count out loud with me and I'd count with him. And then we would check for a pulse again after 100 compressions, I believe is what the EMD was at that time. When we got on scene, uh, we were met outside of the residence by one of Susan's daughters. Um, she was crying hysterically and all she could do was wave us into the house. Um, she couldn't talk to us at that time. Luckily, we have great people on our Lennox Volunteer Fire Department ambulance. They knew exactly what to do. We started, of course, assisting her breathing, ventilating her. Um, while I was doing that, um, another EMS personnel was um, getting the Lucas on so we could start um, the automatic CPR um, and free up another person to do a few other things. Um, third person was getting the monitor on and getting the patches attached so we could see what kind of rhythm was going on. The helicopter arrived and we had our acreage look like a carnival with fire trucks, ambulances, cops. At first we were a little scared. When we got into the heart hospital, uh, I stayed in the room with her and every hour she'd wake up and look at me. She goes, Casey, what are we doing here? Well, and it was the same answer every hour and that probably went on for about six hours. So it was kind of scary. That call has stuck with me for a long time. And of course, as a 911 dispatcher, so often you don't get to hear the end result of you know, what happened to the patient. Um, I don't remember if it was a few days later or so, but I had gotten um, a call from my boss, Todd Baldwin, and had said that he got a call from Lennox Ambulance to let us know that the patient lived. And the husband was told by the doctor in the ER here at Vera McKinnon that if it wasn't for the CPR that he provided to his wife, that she wouldn't have made it. Day to day now is, well, I'm grateful that she's still here and we're still living. It's very important that people know at least how to do the compressions. They don't have to do the breathing, they just have to do the compressions. And then to recognize when somebody's in cardiac arrest. That's also the big thing. The more people that know how to do compressions and do CPR, the better off we're all going to be. When I ended my career in 911, it was one of my, um, one of my highlights. Like, I, I loved working in 911. And I wanted to, um, I'm a person, I enjoy tattoos, kind of tell a story for me. And out of my five years there, there's three calls that I'll never forget. And um, so I have three stars on my forearm that kind of represent my 911, and her call is actually one of them. The only symptoms I can remember, even when I was little, is just being tired all the time. And to this day, I'm still tired all the time. <laughs> I know when I was younger, I didn't take it seriously, and now that I'm older, it's a big deal. Like, my, everybody in my family's died of heart, and I feel like a lot of it could have been prevented if we were more aware. So any awareness we can get out there is good. The night the, the incident happened, from there on, I was thinking it was the worst day of my life, and my friend came up to me and said, it's not the worst day, it's your best day. You saved her. <laughs>